Now we'll discuss about the pyrotid gland part 5. In this section, we will discuss about the pyrotid duct. Pyrotid duct is a thick wall tubular structure. Its length is about 5 cm. It extends from the anterior border of, here you can see this is anterior border of pyrotid gland. Here. It passes forward, downward. This is pyrotid gland. This is anterior water here. It initially passes over the masseter. This is masseter. If you the schematic diagram here, I am drawing the schematic diagram here is position of the masseter. It passes over the masseter. Then here is the anterior border of the masseter. It turns. And it pierces buccal pad of the fat. Here is buccal pad of the fat. This is buccal pad of the fat. So it pierces buccal pad of the fat. Then buccopharyngeal fascia. Then it pierces buccopharyngeal fascia. This is buccopharyngeal fascia. Then it crosses obliquely to the Buccinator muscle, here lies buccinator muscle. This is buccinator muscle. This passes obliquely to the buccinator muscle. Here. Then it passes through the mucosa. Here is mucosa of the vestibule, and here is a papilla in the vestibule through which opens into the vestibule of the mouth. If you make here another diagram, here is position of this is position of the vestibule of the mouth. Here is this is a root of the This is vestibule of the mouth. So here it opens into the papilla. This is papilla where it opens in the vestibule of mouth at the level of opposite the upper second molar teeth. This is upper second molar teeth tooth. This is upper second molar tooth. This is vestibule. It opens opposite to this. So this is pathway of the Pyrotid duct. So this is all about the pyrotid gland. Thank you.